Hi, everyone. Okay, so just hold on. I have to tell everybody to come into this tree. Leave this and go to the one. Okay, not sure why that stream would not do what it was supposed to do, but we're here, okay? We're here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So one stream would not work properly, but that's okay. So I went and started a whole new one. So I'm going to give you guys time to find me. I told everybody to leave that stream and come to the one that says test. Okay. All right. So hopefully everybody is able to get in here and get the class. It was being temperamental. You, it, it wasn't my internet today. It was actually the YouTube. So I said, cancel that one. Hopefully everybody knows. Hi, Marcia. Thank you for jumping in and getting here. Uh, I see a few more people that are coming in. So I'm going to wait. Hi, Raina and Lydia. Great. Great. Come on in, you guys. Come on in. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm not sure. Sometimes it happens. Hi, Karen. Great. You guys saw when I said leave that one and come to the one that says test. Okay, good. Give everybody another minute or two to, to find their way in here. Hopefully they do. Actually, Karen, could you go back to that chat, Linda? Okay, great. Good. I was going to say, Karen, go back to the chat and make sure they saw it. Hopefully they did before I cancel it out. I hope so. Sylvia should be coming in too. You did see, you saw, it says test. That's all I put. Just I just put test. Yeah. All right. So let's see what's going on. Hopefully, if the other one is up, Karen, could you go back to that chat and tell them to go to the one that says test on it? That one would let me record and go live. The other one was not letting me go live. So if you could go in that room and tell them if it's still there, I'm not sure. But welcome, you guys, welcome. You know, it's a, you don't give up, you don't quit. You can't get in this way, then you gotta go around or you go through or under or over or in or out. You gotta make it happen, you know, and it can, so don't worry. All right, who's that? Robin, hi Robin. Yeah, you have, oh, you're in Philly. No, Nadine did not tell me. I'm so going to go after her this week. Thank you so much. Because actually, I just thought you were just playing hooky. Mm -hmm. I haven't had you in a Monday class. I haven't had you in a Friday class. I'm like, mm, Robin is for the streets right now. Okay. Well, but I'm so glad that you did find me and that you could tell me yourself. Because I will be seeing Miss Nadine at a class later on today. And you know what? That's all I'm going to say. That's it. Say no more. So welcome, you guys. So today, you do not need any um, equipment at all, except you can use a chair. And hi, Lady V. Welcome, welcome. You won't be back until June, girl. You are having a good time, okay? So you can have a chair or you can use the wall. So I'm going to show you some exercises today that you can do with the chair or you can do against the wall some exercises for stretching and getting tone and fit, all right? Now, before we actually go into the whole process of the exercises, I do have to apologize. I had to switch over. The other channel, uh, when I was trying to do the video, would not uh, let me go live. So I came to this one to do a test. Hi, Wen Sam. Welcome, welcome. All right, so chair and wall, or one or the other. You can just have the wall or you can just have a chair. For me, I'm just going to use the wall today, but you can do the same thing with the chair. Okay. All right. Now, my name is Rocky and you are actually watching Gold and Silver Fitness 
This is us, Gold and Silver Fitness, and our motto is you are more valuable than gold. So thank you for taking the initiative to do something for your health and to jumpstart your healing because that's what exercise really does. It jumpstarts your healing. Now, having said that, please make sure, though, have some water. Stay hydrated. Please drink your water. Very, very important. Muy, muy importante. Is that what it says? Right? Okay, that's how you say it. You got it. Okay? All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a warm-up. And then we will move into our wall and or chair exercises. Okay? So I'll put a little music on for you. I won't have it too loud because guess what? You can always put your own music on if you want. Okay? All right. Okay, moderate loud. Okay, all right. Inhale the arms up to the sky, stretch. And exhale down. Take another deep breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, you can exhale through the nose or the mouth. Take the right hand over your head. Give yourself a side stretch. Mind you, you're going to be doing this from the chair as well. And release your hand down. Inhale your left hand up. And exhale, take it over for a side stretch. And release it down. Let's rotate the shoulders back. Back. Let's take the forward now. Let's rotate the wrists. And reverse. Shake it out. And march. Touch those heels for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to work the hips, okay? Straddle, hands on the hips, push the hips right. Push those hips right. You can always put your hand down to the side as well, or you put the hands on the hips. We're just pressing the hips to the right, press. Press the hips to the left. Press. So you have to lean and push your hips gently to the left. Now hips to the back. Back. And front. And back. Soften your knees. And front. And back. And front. And back. And front. Let's do two more, okay? Back and front. 
One more. Back and front. Good. We're going to take it around. We're rounding the circle. Now, the key to being able to do this is bending the knees. Soften the knees. We take the hips around. Circle. Circle again. Now, circle the other way. See how I did? I did my knees. Bend your knees. Go ahead. Do one more time. Excellent. Tap your right foot. Tap it. Now tap your left foot. Tap. We're going to reach the arms across the body. Reach. Reach. Stretch those arms across your body. Across. Right arm crosses over. Left arm crosses over. Cross. Reach. Turn at the waist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's swing the arms from side to side and step your feet. Step. Step. Good. Breathe. If you count with me, it helps your breathing, okay? So you don't have to consciously think. Breathe. Because when you count, you got to draw in that oxygen. Okay, let's try it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's touch those knees. And touch. 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 Touch, touch your knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Straddle. Gonna take the arms over. Side. And up. And side. And up. Sylvia, you made it. Side. And up. Side. And up. And side. And up, and side, and up, again, side, and up, one more, side, and up, good, bring it down, now, double shots. Hey, superstars, drop it in the chat for me, that we're on the test. Superstars, because I saw Choice in the other class, and I don't think she knows that we're in this on the test room. So if you'd be so kind, I don't want to stop the text again. I want to keep exercising. So just drop it in the chat and say, hey, guys, come to the test class. Thank you. All right, we're going to press the hands. Press, press. Bend the uh, wrist right here. Keep the wrist bent. Press it out. There you go. Move those whips, hips, and move the waist. Side to side. Good. Take it lower. So this is what it looks like from the side. Just pressing the arms out with my wrist. Bend. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Now press down. Press. Press. Like you're doing a tricep machine at the gym when you press it down. Press. Press. Press those hands straight down. Press. Use your triceps. Press. 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 Good. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Bring it in. And go ahead and grab you some water, okay? Get you some water. This is very, very important in our workouts. Don't ever take this water for granted. Your body needs it. By the time that you get thirsty or you're feeling really tired, you might be ready to be super dehydrated or you might even pass out. We don't want that. 
I've seen that before and I never want to see that again. Real talk, okay? Not for me personally, but I've seen someone do it in a class, in my class. Don't want that ever to happen again. So please drink your water and make sure you eat something light before we work out, okay? All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the wall or you can use a chair, okay? Now, the thing about this exercise that I'm going to show you, it is preferably if you have a wall, but if your chair is super sturdy, you can use the chair, but you will still have to put the chair in a, a non-moving place. I'll show you why. We're going to do wall push-ups, okay? So a wall push-up, you literally are standing with your hands against the wall, and you're going to step your feet back. So your body is actually leaning in a diagonal manner towards the wall. The hands are going to be about shoulder level. Don't have them up here. Have them at the shoulder level, okay? You're just going to bend, bring your body forward, press back. Bring your body forward, bending the elbows. My knees on this are not bending, okay? So if, so I say if you were using a chair, you can't push the chair forward. You just have to step here, and you just have to press up on the chair and come down. Press up so your hands have to be on top of the chair, the seated part of your chair. So you press your hands on the chair, you'll bend the knees, bend the elbows, press up, come up like that. Here and here. That would be what your chair workout looks like, okay? Pressing elbows and then push up so you can use those triceps. Because that's what we want to do. We want to get the triceps tone. It helps to take care of those turkey wings. We don't want those, okay? And we want a nice smooth tone arm, all right? So you're, you're on the chair, hands down on the chair, and you can slap on the knees if you're against the wall. Let's do 10 of them, okay? All right. Then the elbows come to the wall. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Did you feel anything? Hi, Marty. Marty, you're out of town. Welcome. Okay. Our next exercise we're going to do, one hand can be on the wall, or you'll have both hands on your chair. Okay? One hand on the wall or two hands on the chair for stability. Okay? We're going to extend that outside leg. So whatever is your outside leg, we'll start with that. Not outside leg, it's basically your left side. So I'm gonna start with my left. Hand on the wall, we're gonna take the leg up. And we're not gonna let the leg go back down on the ground because we're supporting ourselves. So just go up, 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 up. Work in the hips. Up, up, up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now we do the other side. I have to turn my back to you for this one which would be my other leg here, okay? Leg out, keep it off the ground. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, okay? Next exercise, we're going to face the wall again, pressing our palms on the wall, or you're going to press your hands on your chair, okay? Give yourself space because you're going to raise your knee up, just like this. Step your feet back, raise the right knee up, and then you're going to take it straight back. Raise the knee up, straighten the body, bend over, take the leg back, okay? Now in the chair here, you're on the chair, make sure that you're sturdy though, okay? That it's not sliding around. So you take the knee, take it straight back, knee and back, okay? The difference is, is the, the level that you're at when you're working against the wall. That's the only thing, okay? All right. All right, let's do the right leg first. Bring the knee up to the chest, squeeze your tummy, and take the leg straight back, bend the body over if you're able to. Remember, do what your body allows you to. Bring the knee up, 
Take it straight back on your toes. Bring the knee up and back. Bring the knee up and take it straight back. Bring the knee up and take it back. Bring the knee up and back. Let's do four more, okay? Four. Stretch. Three. On your toe. Two. And one. Okay? Now we'll do the other side, all right? All right. When you bring that knee up and you squeeze those tummy muscles, those core, you can feel it. You can feel it. Hi, E. All right, let's go. Hands against the wall, you're gonna step back. Our hands on the chair, do the left leg. Take your time. Knee up, squeeze the tummy, the core muscles, squeeze. Now take the leg straight back, bend over, parallel to the ground. Bring the knee up, squeeze, and take it straight back. Bring the knee up, and back. Bring the knee up, and back. Bring the knee up, and back. Let's do five more. Five more, squeeze the stomach, and straight back. Four, squeeze, contract those core muscles, and back. Three, and back. Two, and back. Last one, squeeze, squeeze, and take the leg straight back. Good job. Shake those legs out. You'll feel it. You will definitely feel it. It's great. You know what it's great for? It's great for the hamstrings, for tightening up the glute muscles. Yeah. Great for it. All right? Okay. Now, we're going to use the back of the wall, and we're going to straddle. Okay? So you're going to bring your back against the wall. And just step your feet out. Two, three baby steps, okay? We're going to have the hands above us, right at shoulder level. Now, we're not doing a deep, deep squat, okay, with our back against the wall. We're just going to just challenge our quads, the front of our thighs, and then we're going to squeeze our core to come back up, okay? So it's just a slight challenge. Now, if there's any difficulty in your back, you know, having your back on the wall or anything, then by all means, you don't do this. You can actually do this from your chair or standing behind the chair and just straddle and just slow down super slow and come up and squeeze your core, okay? The back squats give us a little bit of different versatility. So step your feet out from the wall, not too far, okay? But just about, I would say about six or seven inches. So take three or four baby steps forward from the wall. Arms out, chin up, okay? Three down, three up. One, two, three, hold it. Up, two, three. Down, two, three, hold. Up, two, three, feel it here, come on. Down, two, three, hold it. Press up, two, three. Down, two, three, hold. And up, two, three. Let's do one more. Down, two, three. Let's hold it. Hold it. For five, four, three, two, and one. You want to bring it up and shake it out. Yeah. How those quads feel. If you feel a slight burn, you're at the right zip code. Okay? Grab you some water. <laughs> So we're going to add in some core exercises right now. If you're using the chair or the wall, you're going to put your right hand on the chair or right hand on the wall, okay? Once again, if you're using your chair, please make sure it's a sturdy chair and it won't slide, okay? So right hand on the wall or chair. We're going to bend the left arm and make a muscle. Make a, make a bicep muscle. Squeeze that bicep. 
We're gonna use the right knee, okay? So all we're gonna do is bring the right knee up towards the elbow and do a slow twist. Twist and step open. Okay, we're gonna squeeze our tummy muscles, squeeze your core muscles when we do that twist, squeeze it. So we're not gonna do it fast, because I want you to contract it and feel the contraction. And somebody says, well, under all this layer of barber that I have, yes, even under all that layer, you have muscles and we're just working on it. Listen, I have some tummy too, and I know you're going to laugh at me, but yes, I do too. And I'm working on it. So everything is just a work in progress. Okay. So don't beat yourself up. You're in the right place. Let's go. All right. Right hand on the wall. Left hand makes a muscle. We'll start with the right knee. Very slow. Let's go. Bring it up and squeeze your muscles. Squeeze and release it out. Ready? Again, right knee up and squeeze. Squeeze and release. Make sure you step it out so you have balance. Ready? Go. Squeeze those muscles. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze and release. Good. Two more. Ready? Right knee up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release. Last one on this side. Right knee up, squeeze, squeeze and release. Good job. All right. I'm going to pretend like my left hand's on the wall. Make a muscle with your right arm. Left hand, press it on the wall or press it on your chair. You have to turn the other way for me. It's okay. You can hear my voice. We're going to bring that left knee up and squeeze, okay? So just pretend. I can do it here, too. All right. All right? Ready? Let's go. Left knee up. Squeeze. Squeeze. And release. Ready? Go. Left knee up. Squeeze. Squeeze your core. And release. Ready? Go. Left knee up. Squeeze. Squeeze. And release. Two more. Let's go. Left knee up, squeeze, squeeze, and release. One more. Here we go. Left knee up, squeeze, 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 and release. Good job. Bring it down. Shake those shoulders out. Shake the shoulders out. Let's go to the core. All right. So now make a nice wide straddle. And slowly bend the knees. We're going to turn those baby toes out, but we're going to slowly bend the knees, okay? Now we're going to put one hand on top of the other. Like, remember, I dream of Jeannie. I know, that was like, I know. I dated myself, right? I don't care. I was a little girl. I loved I dream of Jeannie. Okay, but yeah, just one hand on top. Bend the knees, and you're just going to pivot right here at the core. So don't do all this with the hips. Just turn, turn the waist. So we're working your core, okay? Ready? To the right 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. To your left now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now we're going to do it one more time. Remember, knees stay soft, and we're just working at the waist, okay? Ready? To the right. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Go on, hydrate. Give me some water. Hi, Dre. Cheers. Oh, that water goes down so wonderful, too, when you're working out, doesn't it? It feels so good. All right, so now it's time for you to cool down. So let's just take a deep breath and inhale those arms all the way up to the sky. Interlock your fingers, press. Your palms up, stretch out that spine, stretch. Now just take a slow stretch to your right. 
Bring it up and take a slow stretch to your left. Bring it up and we're going to rotate the wrist as we slowly come down. Take the right arm over your head. Followed by the left arm. And release. Go on and throw the shoulders back. Just throw them back. Nice and slow. Ooh, shoulder circles. Let's take the shoulders forward now. Good. Now we're going to take the right hand over your head and go on and give yourself a side stretch. So we take the right hand over and just gently stretch the head. Nice. Now we'll release it. Take the left hand over your head and gently stretch. Just gently coaxing the head to the left. Not a big jerk or pull, just a gentle coax. Good. And you can feel it as it opens up the neck muscles and lessens any tightness that you have in those shoulders, the shoulder area. Go ahead and release it out. Now, you can use your chair or you could be sitting or you can use the wall. We're just going to extend the right foot forward and the heel is in the ground and the toes are up, okay? So your foot looks like that on the floor, okay? Take one hand up or both hands up to the sky. And we're just going to bring the hands over to the top of the thigh and gently press back as we take our hips back. If you need to keep one hand on the chair for support or one hand on the wall, that's okay. Let the body go over wherever it feels comfortable to hold and work and stretch, okay? Take a deep breath into your stretch and exhale. Go ahead and bring your body up, and we'll do your other leg now. Extend that leg forward. Heel is in the ground. Remember, the toes are up like that, okay? Inhale one or both hands up. Exhale, you're going to press gently on the thigh, never on the knee. Never put any pressure on the knee, okay? And just allow yourself to come over. Keep it. You can keep one hand on the wall or the chair, okay? And just slowly allow yourself to roll over, but keep your head level also. Don't drop the head down. We don't want to do that. That causes dizziness for some people. We want to be stay focused and strong. So keep your head looking forward. Keep your eyes looking. Okay, go on and bring it up. Beautiful. Take a deep breath. Inhale through your nose. Reach all the way up to the sky. Stretch. And exhale. Release your hands to your side. Inhale the arms up, breathe in, giving thanks for this day. And exhale, release your hands all the way down. Now give yourself a hand. Great job, everybody. And thank you for trying to find us again, even though we had to leave one live and go to another. Give yourself a hand. Thank you. Have a super day, okay? And don't forget to drink your water. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye, everybody.